on to today's top story, guys. Uh, Bitcoin Cash proposed miner tax could be a suicidal move coming from B in crypto. Now, miners on the Bitcoin Cash network have proposed the creation of a 12.5% tax on mining rewards paid out to those participating in securing the network via mining in order to help fund development of the Bitcoin Cash ecosystem. Now, this proposal was published to Median uh, by Jiang Zuhor. He's the CEO of Bitcoin Cash's largest mining pool, BTC Top. Uh, now, this is this Medium post is floating the idea of a six-month short-term donation plan where 12.5% of the Coinbase award will be diverted to a Hong Kong-based corporation set up to legally accept and disperse the funds. Now, for those of you who are unaware, the Coinbase is the first transaction every miner writes into their proposed block uh, when they are attempting to solve the algorithmic puzzle that allows them to have write access to write the next block on the blockchain. And the very first transaction that they write, in addition to the transactions that they pull from the mempool, is going to be the creation of new uh, cryptocurrency, in this case, Bitcoin Cash, but this is the exact same for Bitcoin and Bitcoin SV. The first transaction in that suggested list of transactions to the block chain is going to be the creation of new cryptocurrency out of thin air and deposited into their, um, into their wallet address. This is how new Bitcoin is comes into creation. Uh, and this is how miners are incentivized and rewarded monetarily for securing the network via mining. Now, the proposal... On Medium suggests that deployment in Bitcoin Cash's uh, upcoming May 2020 protocol upgrade. Uh, and this fundraising period is going to be running between May and November of this year, potentially raising up to 112 Bitcoin Cash per day in order to fund developer projects, which would mean about $7 million would end up going to those building on the Bitcoin Cash ecosystem. One would have to, one would have to ask, are you guys struggling with funding development? Definitely not struggling with that over here in Bitcoin land. Uh, now, the plan is being supported by several of the most prominent Bitcoin cash mining pools, which includes Bitcoin.com, BTC Top, BTC.com, Vita BTC, and Ant Pool, of course. And together, these pools represent a majority of the identified Bitcoin cash hash rate, but only about one third of the total hash rate. Now, Zuar admits the proposal is controversial. And with implementation through a hard fork not being feasible, enforcement would require a mining scheme, which would see mined blocks not following the plan getting orphaned. Now, in Zuar's Medium post, he's actually, let me, uh, let me, let me show this to you guys first. So this is what the BCH chain will be looking like uh, moving forward. Ah, uh, this wonderful photoshopping. That's a, that's a really good deep fake. Now, uh, in his Medium post, he states, to ensure participation and include subsidization from the whole pool of SHA-256 miners, uh, miners are going to be orphaning. Miners will have to agree to orphan BCH blocks that do not follow the plan and give the proposed 12.5% tax to this Hong Kong-based corporation. Uh, this is needed to avoid a tragedy of the commons. And of course, what he means by that is... The fact that if only a few individuals choose to pay the tax and the grant, if it's made voluntary, if something is made voluntary, then individuals will opt not to do it. This is a tragedy of the commons, right? The classic example is where, you know, you have, uh, you know, a, a food storage basket and everybody is required to put in, but you can freely take from it. And then when the cold weather comes, we find that the food basket is empty because, of course, everybody is greedy and looks out for their own self-interest. So this is why game theoretics and structuring distributed systems or social systems in a way that incentivize good behavior and punish bad behavior are absolutely necessary because we just cannot trust human beings to do the right thing. Now, this way, uh, with, with this proposed uh, orphaning of blocks, uh, the policy could be implemented without the use of a hard fork or change to consensus rules. Instead, this collective of mining pools would simply refuse to mine on top of blocks produced by those not participating. And since, again, they have half, they own half of the known hash rate and one third of the total hash rate, they could absolutely pull this off, especially especially since the general consensus is that Antpool and or Bitmain uh, and Roger Veer tend to own far more of the unknown hash rate than is known. Now, many crypto commentators were divided over the plan, with some taking to Twitter to object to the proposal 
and 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 how it would be implemented with one user whale panda in particular stating bitcoin cash implementing a 12.5 percent miners tax is hilarious and anyone not donating will have their blocks orphaned literally a centralized totalitarian regime with a 51 percent attack threat on top of that charlie lee of litecoin fame of course uh thank you so much for the resub mr qc my brother uh, Charlie Lee stated, this mining cartel currently owns only 28% of the Bitcoin cash hash rate. They cannot enforce this course of soft fork unless they come up with a lot more hash rate, and it would likely lead to many forks. Adding such a centralizing feature in this coercive manner such, sets such a bad precedent. And the danger of implementing this arguably coercive scheme is its destabilizing effect on minor participation. If the new tax is enacted through a soft fork, with 50% of the hash rate eventually joining, the remaining 50% become alienated, forced to either fall in line and pay the fee, or abandon the network potentially hard forking BCH. Now, with the BCH mining network potentially split down the middle, it could spell a scenario in which both halves become vulnerable to attack from a single, large BTC chain miner. Now, Zuhor, the BTC top CEO, also added that there wouldn't be any type of voting going on making it distinctly different from the sort of funding plans you see on other blockchains, which have development funds subsidized through block rewards, the Dash blockchain being one such example. Now, we also suggested the participation in the model would remain voluntary. Quote, initiative is under the direction and control of the miners, who can at any time choose not to, con choose not to continue. But uh, then they choose to have their blocks orphaned. Now, behind the funding proposal are several motives, including a typical tragedy of the commons occurring because only a few companies support developers, while other members of the ecosystem are free riders benefiting from development they didn't fund. Zuar also noted corporate donors having an undue influence on developers, which can lead to centralization as the developers become obedient and serve the interests of those who are funding them. Now, while many agree that the idea of fundraising community development through attacks on mining rewards is not, in essence, a bad one, the intimidation involved here with no prior discussion uh, and the principle of no debate is antithetical to the ethos of crypto, and it sets a terrible precedent with horrible optics. Now, claiming that debate wastes time and resources, Zuor cited China's explosive growth in GDP from 1978 to 2018. Thanks to reforms and policy changes implemented under a central planning model, Zuor suggested this path of bravery and experimentation presents the greatest way forward for Bitcoin Cash's success. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that Bitcoin Cash can experience the exact same explosive growth as the entire continent and country, excuse me, not continent, country of China by implementing a centrally designed model? Is this what we want in the governance of our chains? And can we see Bitcoin SV following quickly behind this, especially with the fact of the upcoming halvening coming one month prior to Bitcoin's halvening in May? We'll be seeing the halvening for both the BCH and BSV forks in April.